Again, what's unique about this triangular prism? It's not unique because it's, they've done it twice now. They give us the area, so we don't have to use the area of a triangle. We'll use that later. Number two, we have V equals, again, on our formula, V equals big V times H. Big V stands for? Oh. Area of base, not just the base, okay? Oh, oh, oh. No, okay, it's the area of the base. And H stands for? The height. Because big B stands for the area of the base, they already give it to us, so we can fill in our formula as V equals, open parentheses, 20, close parentheses, multiply by the height of 4. Again, here's one of those that we can probably do on our head. So when we do it in our head, 2 times 4 is, 2 times 4 is, 2 times 4 is, and then attach a 0, we have bingo. She did it the right way, okay? She did it the right way. So V equals 80, and the unit of measure they used in this one, that unit, Logan, centimeters, and since we have a length and a width and a height, it needs to be... 